Hey there, Fire Signs. Welcome to Shared Ascension, so thanks so much for being here. This is going to be your general weekly reading. Um, so I am combining all the signs by element this week because I'm not feeling the best, okay? That's also why I'm not showing my face on camera this week. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff is going to be addressed within the description box down below, as well as information for my Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Patreon. So for 13, 13 monthly, you can join me on Patreon. I do weekly readings over there for each sign where I go over channel messages, love, work and finance and self-development as well as some affirmations to take with you throughout the week okay so um, I'm not accepting personal readings at this time I do have your past present and future laid out here in dominoes runes and oracles and I'm going to clarify with the tarot after I go over some channel messages here um, <coughs> Excuse me. So, the decks I'm using are Wisdom of the Oracle and Radiant Wise Spirit, alright? I do feel like there's a Libra energy here. Some of you could have Libra in your chart, but I definitely feel like there's a Libra here who wants to work with you. I'm not sure if this is in a connection or if it's in actual work. Some of you are definitely getting an offer to move. This could be work-related as well. Um... I do feel like you guys are going to have to make a decision. Definitely pick a, pick the new offer, the newest offer, okay? That's going to be more fulfilling for you, okay? I'm also feeling Virgo and Sagittarian energy here. There's a Virgo or a Sagittarius. This could be you. This is a fire sign reading. Um, who wants someone to make a move? Some of you definitely have a controlling parental figure. Yeah, there's a lot of controlling energy here. Uh, you could definitely live with this person, or this could be someone that's in your energy quite frequently. Someone really, um, I don't know, forceful. I don't know what word I'm looking for here, but that, that's how it feels to me. Uh, definitely an energy that you need to move away from. A lot of fire on fire here. You guys could, could be dealing with another fire sign. I do feel like somebody's ending a third party. This could involve a Cancer or a Taurus. Or another fire sign. I'm feeling heavy Gemini energy here. You guys could have Gemini in your chart. Okay. So you've got three over four showing up in the past. Uh, that is... Um, it's happiness and love. But this could be in anything, really. Um, you know, anything you love. Anything you're passionate about. And then you've got Rido, which is relocating. Then you've got Unfinished Symphony. Alright. Um, you've got Truth Be Told as your overall energy, which is card number 14. Um, and then you've got card number 10, uh, Unfinished Symphony in the past here. Now, you've got 1-5 showing up currently, so you're waiting on some kind of change here. And then you've got Issa. Whatever you're waiting on is at a standstill. Uh, obviously you're waiting on it, right? Uh, but something's stagnant. Something's at a standstill. You do have time for a nap. I'm feeling a lot of resistance off of, um, Issa here. You've got 1-1 one, one showing up in the future, which can be, um meeting someone new. It can also be just coming face to face with, with a person or with something or with the truth, okay? Uh, and that's very well possible because you've got truth be told as your overall energy. And you've got Dagas, which is intuition, a light within, or a breakthrough. And then you've got not for you, card number six. And time for a nap is card number 24. I like to announce the numbers because I know some numbers are significant to people. Um, so let's see here. Three of Pentacles, okay. Uh, that is Capricorn energy. Yeah, something wasn't finished. You're putting in the work on something. These Pentacles up here are not filled yellow, okay? They're yellow, but they're not uh, filled yellow like the other Pentacle cards. Um, so I feel like you were working on something and you weren't really seeing results, okay? Definitely could have been a third party situation, but that's not for everyone, obviously. Um, now, let's see here. I feel like that's, um, this is about the unfinished symphony here. King of Pentacles. Let's clarify him. That's Taurian energy. Let's clarify King of Pentacles, please. Let me clarify King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles can represent patience. You've got Eight of Pentacles here as well. Virgo energy. Um... I do feel like you're waiting on something, okay? You're waiting on something, and you're working on something as well while you wait. So this is interesting. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Eight of 
Oh, goodness gracious, my nose is itching. Can I have the Eight of Pentacles, please? Queen of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like you got the Queen and King of Pentacles out on the board here. I feel like there's a very strong connection to whoever this is. You've got um, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine of the same suit out here. This is Capricorn Energy uh, with the Queen showing out, okay? Um, so I do feel like you're working on something. Yeah, there's resistance here, okay? There's resistance because there's this Eight of Pentacles right in between the two of them. This could definitely be another person, uh, but I do feel, you know, um, let's see here. I want to clarify before I say it. Some of you could have been done with the Capricorn. We've got the devil out here. Some of you are definitely waiting on... See, this is a connection gone toxic here. Uh, could be with the Gemini. doesn't have to be. We'll look at the similarities there. This is definitely a connection gone toxic. Uh, it is a strong connection, but, um, you know, when somebody's not willing to put in the work, then what's the point? I feel like you're, I feel like that's what you're waiting on. You're waiting on someone to change, all right? Um, and you've got Issa here, but you're being hit with resistance here as you work on this incessantly. Um, and working on this doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're giving to it physically. This could just be energetically, you know, thinking about it, waiting on it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, thinking about it, <laughs> reminiscing. Um, let's see here. The Emperor, the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, because... Seven of Pentacles, I just, you're not happy with your investment here. Taurian energy, you're not happy with your investment in this connection uh, because the emperor is showing up here, Aries energy. Uh, this could be you, but I do feel that this is, um, you know, it's energy, just put it where it goes, but I feel like whoever this is that you're connecting with here um, is at a standstill. They're not putting in any work at all. And you got this Queen of Cups here. They could very well be putting in work with whoever this Queen of Cups is. Uh, could be a Cancer, doesn't have to be. But I also feel that this is just um, an intuitive energy. It's like intuitively you know that this is something you, you need to walk away from. Because it's getting to the point of exhaustion. It's draining you with this uh, Devil card here. Because there's something missing here. Um, I feel like some of you could be waiting on closure. Yeah, it's draining you for sure. The moon, Piscean energy. The eight of cups, Piscean energy. The three of swords, Libra. Yeah, but you don't have all the pieces here. Somebody's not giving you all the answers, uh, but something was left unfinished, all right? That's what I'm getting here. And waiting on it and giving to this, you're at a point of exhaustion, okay? Now, you've got one one here. Tell me about one one, please. Tell me about one one, please, for fire signs. Ooh, goodness gracious. Four of Wands, Aries Energy. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be meeting someone some, um, someone new, okay? I don't know why that was so hard to get out. But you do have Truth Be Told um, up top here as the overall energy. So I do feel like for others of you, this is coming to terms with the truth. Because there's a breakthrough here. This is Dagas, Intuition, A Light Within. Yeah, and you've got the Tower. You're releasing yourself from this connection. Um... The Fool, Aquarian Energy, the Tower, Scorpio, and Aries. Yeah, I feel like you're, this is sudden too. This is all of a sudden. It's a huge epiphany that's coming on here. That this is something that's not for you. If it's taking this person this long, if they're not reaching out, you know, they're telling you the truth in a lot of ways. They don't have to just, they don't have to speak it to tell you. You know, silence tells you everything you need to know here. Let's see. But the Four of Wands showing up here, I mean, I feel like this is also meeting someone new. I can't get around that. For a lot of you, this is meeting someone new. This is wish fulfillment. It's a new vision. Okay? It's something that's meant for you. Okay? Huge transformation going on here. Scorpionic energy. And I almost feel like, you know, you're no longer even a match for this person. Even if they did come back to finish something here, you're no longer even a match for them. I do feel like it's something they think about, though. Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yep, but there's a shift here, and you're moving on. Look at this. Hold on. Let me get that card to see. 
Uh, Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. And the Knight of Wands, sat more Sagittarian energy. Lots of movement going on there. Lots of fast movement, okay? Um, in regards to something that you have been holding on to for quite some time, that is Capricorn energy. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Uh, Self-sufficient, abundant. I love it. See, look, an Ace of Wands, Passionate New Beginning, Fire Energy, Aries, Sag, Leo, and with a Knight, Nine of Pentacles, that is Virgo. Yeah. Wow. So this looks really good, Fire Signs. I hope that this was helpful, and I want to thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.